Well, if you were in downtown St. Louis today, then you may have seen it. The gigantic Virgin Hyperloop One is on display near 8th and Washington as part of a national road show. Five on your side's Robert Townsend gives us a glimpse of the test vehicle designers hope will redefine traveling. It's being touted as the first new mode of mass transportation in 100 years. Testing is done, it works. Hyperloop One looks like something out of a Star Wars movie, but designers and engineers say, hold on, this high tech, super cool, super fast vehicle will one day take people from St. Louis to Kansas City in lightning speed. So on the St. Louis to Kansas City route, it is a 30 minute journey from here Supporters say when Hyperloop One officially gets off the ground, a typical three and a half hour trip from KC to St. Louis will dramatically drop to as little as 28 minutes. That's because we can go up to 670 miles an hour. People won't be exposed to that. So people will be accelerated and decelerated very gently. Less acceleration and deceleration than you feel when you're taking a plane. Virgin Hyperloop One is currently crisscrossing the country taking this test model to St. Louis and other cities. This is about three quarter the size of the actual vehicle, connecting the country and the world by a web of Hyperloops. Right now, St. Louis is high on the list for possibly getting a Hyperloop system. In the world, St. Louis to Kansas City is in the top four. Who's first is not completely clear right now. From scooter riders to drivers, people are hyped. I would definitely take a trip on it. Oh, wow, that is really awesome. I would oh, definitely yeah. ride it. Sign me up. Give us till 2030 and we'll have somebody on this somewhere in the world. So many potential riders are excited about this thing possibly coming to St. Louis. The big question, of course, is will it become a reality? We should find out by mid 2020. Robert Townsend, five on your side.